Good afternoon. It is Monday, January 30th, Worship Live. Week four with the Merrills, Wednesday morning of our 99th summer season. Awesome. The worship will be great this morning. You may even want to sing along with us, mm -hmm. so check it out. Well, good morning. We're going to go ahead and get started this morning by singing a prayer, familiar tune, familiar song. But I hope that as we sing it, we can really pray these words as Lord, pray these words, asking the Lord to guide us and lead us throughout today, throughout our life. Be thou my vision. Let's stand together as we sing. song that is to the tune of the church's one foundation it talks about the mission that we have as believers once we've asked christ into our heart not to keep it to ourselves but to share that truth with those around us these lyrics may be new for some of you but i think the melody will be able to be picked up pretty quickly let's sing it together facing a task unfinished facing a task unfinished that drives us to our knees
for you. Okay, all right, we'll try it again on the third verse. We bear the torch that flaming fell from the hands of those who gave their lives proclaiming that Jesus died and rose. Ours is the same commission, the same glad message ours, fired by the same ambition, to Thee we yield our powers. We go to all the world, with kingdom hope unfurled. No other name has power to save, but Jesus Christ the Strain them to toil with steel untired. From cowardice, defend us from lethargy. Awake, forth on thine errand, send us to labor for thy sake. We go to all the world with King. that again. We call to all the world with kingdom hope unfurled. No other name has power to save but Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Thank you. May be seated. As we see those pictures of people that have had to stand up for their faith, you see over in Iran and those Middle Eastern countries, people that have to really believe and stand up for what they believe, and it just fuels us to be able to be bold in our witness for Christ. That's right. I just wanted to say a quick thank you, too. Several of you have um, said that you were praying for my family uh, with my grandmother's passing yesterday, and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, she was a believer, so I'm thrilled for her. She is in heaven enjoying the reality that we can only see by faith right now. And um, I would appreciate your prayers for my family, though. Um, I'll see a lot of um, relatives that really need a touch from the Lord uh, this next week. So that would be my prayer request. Well, we know we have hope. Not the kind of wishy-washy hope, but an expected end. So we can sing these words with confidence. I have a hope. I have a future. I have a destiny that is yet awaiting me. My life's not over. A new beginning's just begun. I have a hope. I have this hope. Do you have hope? God has a plan. It's not to harm me, but it's to prosper me. And to hear me when I call, he intercedes for me, working all things for my good, though trials may come, I have this hope. prepared for me great works will help me to complete I have a hope I have this hope goodness and mercy they're gonna follow me and I'll forever dwell in the house of my great king no eye has ever seen all he's preparing there for me though trials may come Oh, I will yet praise Him, my great Redeemer. 
fulfill hope today. I don't know what you're going through, but if you turn whatever those problems are over to God, see what he can do. There's still hope for me today, because the God of heaven loves me. There's still hope for me today, because the God of heaven, he loves me. Yes, there's still hope for me today, because the God the whole family of God working together. We all have unique gifts, and let's stand together and just sing about the unity that we have in Christ as we sing this theme song. By Christ we are forgiven. In Christ we are complete. For Christ we stand Thank you. 
God is the only one that has the power to change any heart, right? And he does have that power. So even those people that we love who we're still praying for after years and years, God is able. He's able to change my life. He's able to change yours. And uh, there's a beautiful lyric that I remember singing as a little girl in church. It says, Jesus, what a friend for sinners. Jesus, lover of my soul. Anybody know that song? Oh, good. Well, we came across that lyric again during the pandemic and really wanted to highlight those words in a new way. So we wrote a new melody, uh, and I just love the words that say, saving, helping, keeping, loving. He is with me to the end. And the promise of God's presence in all of life's seasons is such a precious promise. Oh 
okay, James, in just a couple hours, this room will be filled Loaded up. with pastors, yep. their wives, and ministry leaders. Yep. And we're so excited that Dr. Dave Ritter is going to be sharing the word with us this week. Yeah, very excited. Uh, Jeff and Sue Duffield will be leading worship along with Joyce Ciata. So some of our folks that are listening may not have registered yet and may not be able to get here for the whole day. But sure. what's happening tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow, Tuesday, January 31st, we do ask that you register for this as well, just so we have an idea of the numbers. Um, it's free. It's free. It's free, but we still would like you to register. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested, after I tell you what it's all about, you can call 1-800-453-7942 um, or visit our website at www.americaskeswick.org. So let's get to the info. 8 a.m. is breakfast. That's nice. Mm -hmm. We'll move over to the Hayes Auditorium after breakfast at 930. You'll be able to experience the message together with us um, from Dr. Dave Ritter, experience worship with us, being together. And then at, at 11 o'clock, we're going to have a time where uh, Bill will host uh, kind of an interview session of Keswick staff and explain to you how Keswick America's Keswick comes alongside pastors and ministry leaders in order to help you uh, uh, meet your needs. So looking That's forward awesome. to that. That is awesome. Uh, we'll go into lunch after that. There'll be an opportunity to experience um, tours of the Colony of Mercy and Barber's Place. Um, that touches my heart because I went through there uh, April 2019. So just to see, just to see those, those two parts of our ministry is enough right there but after that you'll also have an opportunity uh, for a q a at 3 p.m with dr dave ritter awesome yep. okay that takes care of the <clears throat> pastors and ministry leaders what's next we have a hymn sing on february 2nd um, where we're going to sing of god's amazing mm -hmm. love february 8th is our february girl talk jesse seneca will be here from more of him ministries february 9th is going to be our men's fellowship night uh, with Pastor Randy Smith from Grace Bible Church in Wall, New Jersey. And we also have our couples. Couples Weekend. Couples Scott weekend. and Lisa yep. Mitchell yep. are going to be sharing the teaching. It's going to be a great weekend. Uh, so I want to encourage you to register for that. Gonna, there's always a lot of fun stuff. We have and a then concert. As, and as a part of that, yep. Allison Dorham Spear yep. will be doing the Saturday evening Valentine's dinner concert. So for more information, to get a copy of our spring events piece, yeah. Call 1-800-453-7942, or you can get that online, www.americaskeswick.org. We love you. We appreciate yeah. you. And if you're listening today for the first time, I trust that your heart's been blessed. Why don't you take this link and invite a friend to join us on Wednesday. But before Wednesday, tomorrow at 1.30, Lynn Wilson shares a great podcast for ladies, Hope for Today. Check it out. God bless you.